video was brought to you by the Critical Language Service. To learn more about our Arabic courses for schools, homeschool groups, and colleges, visit our website at www.criticallanguageservice.com. Welcome back. In this slide, we covered the letter FA, which is, I think, very easy for you to pronounce because you have it in English. And it is pronounced FA like in the word feather. In the beginning, the letter FA is written like this and usually it's connected to the letter after it. Here is an example, the word Farah, which is a girl name and it means happiness. Another example is the word Deftar and when we say in the beginning, we mean that the letter F is not connected to any letter before it, but it's connected to a letter after it. In the middle, we write it like this, and it's usually connected to the letters on both sides. And here we have the word Saphir, which means ambassador. At the end, it's written either connected, like this, or in dependent form, like this. An example would be the word Sof, which means class. And the last example for independent form would be the word Harf, which means leather. Leather Qaf. The leather Qaf is pronounced like K in English, but it is deeper in the throat. Its basic shape is similar to the leather Fa, but when it's connected to other leather, it's exactly like le leather fa, but there are two dots on top instead of one. In the beginning, we write it like this. In the middle, we write it like this. At the end, when it's connected, you write it like the letter fa, but you go down the line and you make half circle. In independent form, it's like the connected form, but it goes below the line. An example for in the beginning is the word qamar, which means moon. In the middle, we have the word faqr which means poverty. As you see, I wrote it here, the letter Qaf with two dots, but in the word common, I wrote it the bar. As we explained earlier, we can write two dots with a bar or with two dots because we are using handwriting. Here, you see the contracts between the letter Fa and Qaf. At the end, in its connected form, it comes like this in the word Rafiq, which means friend. An example for independent form is the word folk, which means above. The letter Kaf. The letter Kaf is pronounced like K in the word likewise. So, Ka, like this. In the beginning, we write it like this. And it connects to the letter which comes after it. One example of this would be the word Kabir, which means big. So in the middle form, we start with a straight line, and then we connect it a C form, then we go down, and we make a straight line, and we write the next letter, which get connected to Kaf. And at the end, we draw a straight line on the top of C. An example would be the word Sukkar, which means 
sweet or sugar, which the Arab people like it a lot. At the end, in its connected form, it is written completely different. Watch how I write it. Notice that I write the letter Hamza in the middle. An example would be the word shak, which means doubt. At the end, in independent form, we write it like this. An example would be the word duck. Now let's take a look at the letter cough versus the letter cough. One example would be the word bakar. Again, bakar. Versus the word bakar. Again, bakar. Another example would be habak. Habak versus the word habak. Here are habak. the good example. The word saddaq. Saddaq versus the word saddaq. Saddak. So the letter cough make the sound k like in the word saddak. And the letter cough make the sound k like in the word saddak. Once again, the letter cough makes the sound k and the letter cough makes the sound k. Cough k. Cough k. Saddaq versus Saddaq. Again, Saddaq versus Saddaq. Again, Saddaq versus Saddaq. This video was brought to you by the Critical Language Service. Thanks for watching. Please remember to rate, review, comment, and subscribe.